at the end of my videos is when I ask you guys to hit that like button if you're not already uh, subscribed to my channel to hit that sub button, the notification bell, all that stuff. And I always tell you guys uh, why I want you to do it. It helps the channel a lot. Today I'm going to ask you guys to hit the like button now. If you're not subbed, hit that button as well and I'm going to tell you a little bit about why I want you to do that. Hey fish friends, how's it going? Hope you're doing well. My name is Zenzo from Tazawa Tanks if you haven't figured that part out already. Anyway, um, let's get right into why I'm asking you guys to hit that sub button. So in the past I've told you guys that when you hit the like button, when you hit that notification bell, when you watch my videos, it uh, does help the uh, YouTube algorithm which allows more and more people to watch the videos. When more people watch the videos, I get more views obviously and that helps the channel get some revenue. Now I do make money from this channel but I don't don't make a lot of money. It's really little uh, in compared to like my regular jobs and uh, really what it does is just kind of allow me to support this channel and uh, kind of continue to you know get equipment, um, you know get new things that are interesting and exciting to you guys that you might not be able to have all the time. So as an example if I get something like a new tank with mudskippers or something that's funded by you guys subscribing to my channel and then I'm able to share that with all of you. It might be you know a, a new camera or a new camera lens. So anyway um, recently I went up to Seattle and uh, that's probably why you clicked on this video because the majority of this video, I promise, is going to be about fish and Dean's fish room and hanging out at the aquarium co-op and stuff like that. But anyway, um, while I was there hanging out with some of my friends, Corey, Joel, uh, Jimmy, Bob, a few other people, um, I was talking to Jimmy about equipment and I always ask Jimmy about equipment when I'm at, you know, asking anything about cameras. And he suggested, well no he didn't, actually a long time ago he, we were talking about gimbal. So anyway, he was wanting to get a new gimbal for himself and I said, hey, what about that gimbal you have right now? You still want to sell it to me. So anyway, there it is. I got it. Uh, I, I uh, sent Jimmy, I didn't know how to pay people with uh, Facebook. I didn't know you could send people money with Messenger. So when we were together, I didn't have enough cash on me. So I'm like, you know, can I Venmo you? Can I PayPal you? And then uh, his girlfriend said, why don't you just send him money via Messenger and Facebook? I'm like, what? You can do that? Apparently you can. I guess I'm an old dinosaur. I didn't know that you could pay people through Facebook. But anyway, paid him. He shipped it here. It's here. And uh, I'm going to open this box real quick. Again, the video is going to have lots of fish stuff. So don't worry. Stay tuned for that. But I do want to show you guys what this is. Because in the future, this is going to help you guys enjoy my channel more. It's going to make the shots a lot smoother and just kind of add a more cinematic value to this channel. Okay, so I have the gimbal all hooked up. I'm still learning how to use it. It took me a while to kind of get the balance going and kind of figure out the motion and control. So. Moving forward, I'm gonna have to do a lot of practice with this. This thing is awesome. You can't see it right now, but I've got another camera right here. And uh, so now you can see the gimbal and uh, the camera hooked up to it. So um, anyway, I am going to uh, kind of learn how to use this and uh, practice some more when I'm doing any kind of motion footage. We're gonna grab this gimbal so that we can get a nice smooth image. Hopefully you guys enjoy that. Anyway, that's enough talking about technology for now. Let's go check out some fish. If you haven't guessed already, this is the ancient fish. This is a lungfish. This belongs to Dean Tweedell. He is the uh, master breeder that uh, some of you may have uh, encountered in other videos from Aquarium Co-op or from the Swiskey channel. But uh, anyway, this is in his living room and uh, I had a chance to uh, go and check out his home and his fish room. And this is the first tank that you see. It's amazing. So um, the lungfish, and I don't have a lot of information on the lungfish, but they are um, essentially a, a, a um, a very ancient fish. They go back uh, millions of years as far as uh, their evolution and everything. Um, but anyway, a very interesting tank. Uh, he does have some other uh, tetras in his tank which he uh, caught um, when he was uh, traveling in South America and uh, there are some other uh, catfish uh, in this tank as well. But uh, 
very, very interesting, beautiful to watch, and uh, just a really interesting fish. You may have recognized some of the folks in the, in the video there. Obviously, a lot of you probably recognize Lucas, LR Breath Aquatics. Uh, you probably recognize Jimmy from the Swissy Channel and from Aquarium Co-op, and of course, Corey from Aquarium Co-op. Um, and then Dean was the uh, the gentleman there uh, talking at the door, talking to LR Brett's. But uh, anyway, so um, Dean has kind of three, well, actually four areas uh, in his home where he keeps fish. Um, so where the lungfish is, uh, that's upstairs, and um, that is uh, kind of his uh, first, uh, you know, your first viewing of the fish. Um, he's got some fish in the garage, and then downstairs he has a couple of rooms where he's got some fish. But anyway, he does a lot of breeding. Um, he does breed some um, fish that are rare in the U.S. Uh, he does have the, uh, the black rams, which uh, some of you um, may have seen before. Um, and then he does do a lot of collecting, so he does go down to South America, he goes to Peru, and he collects a lot of these fish in the wild. He knows a lot about, um, you know, the habitat that the fish come from, and has been very successful in breeding a lot of fish that other people haven't been successful breeding. So, um, anyway, just wanted to, uh, not going to talk to this whole video, but wanted to share with you, um, you know, some of the fish that he has. He's doing discus, he's doing angels, he's doing rams, um, he's got, uh, a bunch of beautiful tanks um, and even you know some of the tanks that are um, you know uh, not really display tanks they still are really cool and interesting to watch and look at and uh, it is really amazing actually I went there a couple different days and had a chance to uh, see some of these fish here you can see that um, these are some cichlids that are from East Africa from Eritrea um, they are a, a cichlid um, and uh, he does have kind of a, a wide range of fish so it is very interesting I'll uh, go ahead and be quiet here so you can kind of just enjoy the fish and uh, just kind of take it all in. want to talk a little bit about these fish right here these were very rare these actually come from the Congo uh, the Congo is um, 
have not been the best area to uh, collect fish. It's been uh, under uh, kind of uh, a lot of uh, war issues in uh, recent history. But anyway, these are the Shidentai um, puffers uh, from the Congo. And uh, Dean does have some males and females, so he's growing the males out and uh, he will be breeding these in the future. So I believe he got these, uh, some of these are from Corey, and then some of them are from Preston John, who uh, does the Shidentai's uh, down in Arizona. Of all of the uh, fish tanks that uh, Dean had and of all the fish that he kept, this was my favorite. I came back and kept looking at it, kept filming it. Uh, these are some geophagus and uh, I actually I, I kept geophagus a long time ago, probably uh, 18 or 19 years ago. I had a bunch of geophagus in the 55, but just a really beautiful fish and uh, just amazing colors, the finish. Uh, definitely this is on my list of uh, another fish to get again in the future. Well, now we're done with the uh, breeding tour of uh, Dean's home and his fish room. Now I'm at the AGA, it's the Aquatic Gardeners Association. They have a conference every once every couple of years. This happened to be in the Seattle area, so I flew up and uh, hung out with uh, a bunch of my friends up there and uh, wanted to just kind of capture some of it on film. I'm not, uh, I don't have a whole lot of footage here. Um, it was kind of a smaller show. Um, the wet spot had a nice display. You saw their little uh, video there showing them how they escaped that tank. Well, there was a lot of aquascaping going on, a lot of tissue cultures, um, a lot of uh, aquascaping tools and you know supplies for your aquariums, things like that. But uh, there is one tank here I want to show you. This is uh, one of the paludariums from Custom Aquariums. And uh, I do have an opportunity to work with Custom Aquariums in the future and uh, they did offer uh, kind of a, a YouTuber deal that I uh, may take them up on. Um, I am considering uh, something like this for the Mudskipper. So down in the comments below, let me know what you think about that. You know, should I in the future plan on something like this, some type of paludarium for the Mudskippers? And then uh, I just took some footage of a few of the other displays and uh, you know, just some really interesting things. I'm not a big aquascaper. I don't do a lot of uh, aquascaping. Um, and as you guys know, if you've seen my tanks, uh, not a whole lot to see there as far as aquascaping. I do kind of more hardscape, but they did have a lot of beautiful stuff. A lot of the, uh, you know, the uh, different glasswork that you would use in some of these fancy ADA tanks. And uh, just some really beautiful uh, use of plants and wood. Obviously it's a plant show, aquatic plant show. So it uh, really does uh, showcase uh, that. The best part about the whole thing though was uh, listening to Corey talk about his travels in China and how he works with the different um, manufacturers. It was a very interesting talk. So anyway, that is uh, my trip. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this short little video. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.